Matt here from Flying Feet Sports Shoes, and today we are reviewing the all-new Ultra Escalante. So this shoe is designed to go fast and give a responsive energy rebound. And that is exactly what the Escalante does. Now this shoe is going to be filled with all of Ultra's new innovation. It uses their new Ego midsole, which is supposed to give you more energy return. It's also very squishy and responsive. Now it also uses the new engineered mint upper, which is going to be stretchy, breathable, flexible, and it's really going to form to your foot specifically. Now if you've worn Ultras in the past, you know that this shoe is going to be zero drop. Every shoe from Ultras line is a zero drop shoe, which is going to be the same height and heel as well as the forefoot. Now also with this shoe, if you've worn Ultras, you can also know that it has that anatomical fit in the toe to really let your feet kind of sit in the shoe naturally and not be squished um, by the materials and just kind of move in a more natural way, which does feel pretty comfortable if I would have to add. Now, let's get into what I like and dislike about the Ultra Escalante. My first like is going to be the Ego midsole. This midsole is very soft, very squishy, very cushioned, and I think it does a really good job providing that energy return. You really do feel that kind of springy um, bounce back sensation when you run with the shoe. My second like is gonna be the engineered mitt upper. It's very stretchy, breathable, flexible, and there's almost no break in time at all for this upper. Even though most shoes don't have that break in time, this one almost feels like you've been wearing it for two, three, four weeks already when you put it on. Um, it's going to be stretchy, flexible, and it's never going to feel too tight when you tie the laces just because this material does slightly give once you've tied it. My third leg is going to be looks. Now I know with a running shoe, you want something that's cushioned, feels good, and fits your foot right. But when it comes to looks, this shoe can almost be wear, worn as a casual shoe as well as a running shoe. It really has that nice kind of heather gray look on it, and just the design in general it does look like you could potentially wear a pair of jeans casually and also take it out on a nice long run. So definitely good in the looks department. So my first dislike is actually going to be that anatomical foot shape in the toe box. For me, my feet aren't overly wide, they're not narrow by any means, but when I was running in it, if I would make any type of kind of movement rather than going laterally straight ahead, um, my foot did slide a little bit. It wasn't over excessive. It was kind of unnoticeable after a while, but it would give a little bit of give on the outside and the inside of the shoe, um, depending on the movement that I had when I was running. Um, that could be just I'm not used to the shape of the foot, or it could be also the upper material, but I did find that to be a slight problem. And another dislike is going to be the sizing. This shoe surprisingly runs very big. Not just a little big, very big. I... Um, found myself actually going a half size down and even thought about going a full size down. So what I would recommend is if you're very interested in this shoe, come to Flying Feet, try it on, try your true to size, try a half size down and see which one feels the best because it is going to fit big and you just kind of have to accommodate for that. Now overall, I had a great experience in this shoe. It was very fun to run in, highly cushioned, good energy return. The upper feels great. So if you're in the market for a lightweight running shoe that is very cushioned and also has a lower drop, in this case zero drop, definitely come in flying feet and try on the Ultra Escalante. But make sure that the sizing is right because it does run a little bit on the bigger side. That's all I have for you guys today. If you're interested in purchasing the Ultra Escalante, make sure you stop in flying feet and try it on. If you like this video, don't forget to say thumbs up and subscribe for weekly videos. If you want to see the other videos we have on this channel, click the link below. Now from everyone at Flying Feet, we'll see you next week.